I'm getting a few words there from Soyuz Commander Roman Romanenko. Uh, you'll hear them comment on the weather quite a bit as the uh, weather in Kazakhstan can be uh, quite unpleasant uh, during certain times of the year. Meanwhile, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield uh, being lowered into his seat now after being extracted from the Soyuz craft. All three crew members now safely out. Okay, do we have everything here? Well, about the OLE. We put this signature in the bed kit between the control panel and the bed container. Again, this landing uh, on target uh, at the predicted site on time as well. Uh, the official touchdown time coming at 9.31 p.m. Central. Roman, uh, it's just 21 pages and I needed to uh, give it to somebody. It's between the control panel. And you signed it there? Yes. <laughs> well, it's quicker. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely an easy ticket. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. It's not quite the SLF, though. Nice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, what's amazing is just... Am I in the way? We'll see it once again. Oxygen 90. Thumbs up from Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield returning from his command of the International Space Station. Chris was the first Canadian commander of a spacecraft, uh, wrapping up a historic 144 days on board the station. Uh, 